authorities. Prohibition has made the consumption of alcohol illegal and much more fun. Yet, somehow, all of society's problems were not solved. In 1929, the stock market crashes. It's the Great Depression, the greatest depression the world has ever seen. F.D. Roosevelt is elected President of the United States of America, running on a platform of hope, change, and an end to hobos. The visionary leader sees the true threat to civilization is not liquor, but the red menace. That's right, Coca-Cola, and the lazy, shiftless coke addicts who drink it. Deploying brown-shirted Pepsi patrols to all corners of the nation, Roosevelt ruthlessly stamps out coke dealers wherever they ply their trade. Ordinary citizens are savagely attacked for the crime of consuming un-American cola. Outraged, Georgia leads a coalition of states in splitting from the Union, forming the Red States of America. To the remaining blue states, this constitutes treason. And by 1931, the cola wars are underway. It's brother against brother, father against son, terracotta soldiers against Abraham Lincoln androids. The conflict finally ends in 1984, when Blue State's President Reagan orders the hydrogen bombing of Atlanta in retaliation for a napalm attack on Michael Jackson's hair. Although a truce is signed, the once proud United States remained bitterly divided until later joining with Mexico and Canada to form the North American Union. In the heavily publicized trials that follow, Colonel Sanders and General McDonald were both found guilty of war crimes and sentenced to execution by deep frying in lard. This has been Three Visions of the Past. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Now, please stand for the Continental Anthem. The best things in life are free. But you can give them to the birds and bees. I want to know.